Welcome back, everyone. Twishes here, and I am back yet again for yet another Mattel 30th Anniversary Street Sharks video. And today, I am stoked because we have the entirety of Wave 2. I know. Already, Wave 1 started to hit store shelves, started shipping out from online roughly about a month, month and a half ago. And we're already here. Entertainment Earth had them, shipped them out, and... Now we got some figures to talk about, like Dr. Piranoid, the big old bad from the villain's end of things. Quite a large figure, quite an interesting figure. This will be definitely a lot of fun to show off. On the back side of the packaging, glorious artwork. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous poster art. And I love all the hand-drawn imagery of what this figure will entail. And here's the barcode for when he starts to hit store shelves. And like I said, mine came in from Entertainment Earth. Next up, we have Blades and or Streaks. Whichever one you want to call him, he's definitely going by the name of Streaks on the box, which is just fine. But if you want to call him Blades, you can do that as well. Same dealio on the back side of the packaging. Again, I love seeing just the, the finger, and oh look, he opens his mouth, and that's fun. Although, they eschewed the collector's clip art card. Where, where did that go, Mattel? I loved actually having that. And then finally, the big old Mamma Jamma himself, the one, the only, Big Slamu. And of course, this is the one I always think about when I think about Vin Diesel and Street Sharks. Much like Streaks, much like Dr. Paranoid, you got the same dealio. Yes, you can push the fins and make them talk and move their mouths inside the box. It won't hang you up. You don't have to pull them out the box if you don't want to. Now, before we get started, I'm going to do my little spielio here for Entertainment Earth. If you've never checked them out, here's some facts about them. They offer free shipping on all orders, 59 bucks. And over, doesn't include the tax, you kind of have to do that, factor that in. But 59, that's uh, it's the going rate for a lot of things, sometimes even just one collectible. Now, if you're looking for Street Sharks, simple enough, you're going to go up in the search bar, you're going to type in Street Sharks. <laughs> but here's the catch for today. They're all out of stock as of this video, but keep this link for later, or perhaps, just saying, maybe you're more interested in something other than Street Sharks, like Alien Romulus. Even though the movie wasn't that great, the action figures by NECA certainly look good. You can pre-order those. Perhaps you're more a Marvel Legends fan, DC Multiverse fan. The sky is the limit. However, keep in mind, if something is in stock when you use my link, you get an automatic 10% off, and that goes nicely with the free shipping if you order the certain amounts. It's not a bad deal overall, especially with the holiday season coming up, so keep that in mind. But hopefully soon, the Street Sharks will return to Entertainment Earth, and you can take advantage of all this glorious savings that what we're talking about today. So I highly recommend Entertainment Earth. I use them myself. But enough about all that. We have some Street Sharks to talk about. So... Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the entirety of Wave 2, the Mattel 30th Anniversary Street Sharks, Dr. Paranoid, Streaks, and Big Slamu. Here we go. Now, right before we get started, yes, for those wondering, you do get the shark cages much like you did in Wave 1. They're plastic, you can rearrange them, they make for a cool little box for your street shark, or better yet, a nice display base like you see here. Now, first and foremost, we have the whale shark, Big Slamu himself. You gotta throw in a little Vin Diesel reference from time to time, but look at that, you can see my fingers through his mouth right there. Oddly enough, all these street sharks, you have to look at them from the side because straight on, there's not much there. It's always from the side, so photographers get ready. I like that he has the spots on him, and he has got that real feel shark skin like all the other street sharks, very muscular. He's got some veins going on across his chest, big ol' arms. He's the sports street shark. Just remember that. Well, they're all various degrees of sports, but this one likes football. He's got the cleats and the socks, and see, 
for a collector's line, I wish certain elements were painted, like the belts or the string, something like that, just to kind of elevate it just a little bit more. The sculpt is fantastic. He's got some slash marks on his back. He's got the veins. And of course, he does have the big old fin of which you can open and close his mouth. That's part of the charm of the Street Sharks line. He can chomp down on your fingers. The one thing I will say, inside the mouth, you have this big old seam. It doesn't look the best. And for a collector's line of which they're touting 25 bucks each, I know that you're dealing with a bunch of rubber, that real fill skin, everything else, the paint. It's just maybe not perfected or done a whole heck of a lot for this very reason because it starts to break down. So the paint could have been a lot better within the mouth itself. Articulation wise on this arm, you will get the usual, you got single jointed elbows, it'll spin, you got the wrist, the whole nine yards. This side, we'll see the same thing for the elbows and the wrist, which is a nice touch, but then you've got the big ol' big slam arm. You simply just raise the arm, let it go, and he'll do the seismic slam, just like that. So that's a lot of fun, especially when you're punching Dr. Paranoid. He does have a waist, which is nice to see. I would say the main hiccup, kind of like wave one being the feet for this guy, the legs, you kind of have to get everything just perfect, single jointed knees, the feet will rock, yada yada. So just kind of get him in a good stance and you should be good to go, but it's kind of like wave one's ripster where you kind of have to fidget with him to really get him to stand perfectly. Again, with the mouth, the chomping action, the seismic slam, everything is fine in that sense, but I think overall the paint would definitely need to be improved for Wave 2 thus far. Next up we have Streaks, and what's kind of nice is that he comes with some alternate hands. He's kind of doing his Pop the Claws Wolverine slash Freddy Krueger dealio. Big old orange nails. I do like that they put the blue within the glove. That's part of his real feel skin right there. So they've carried it forward. Now what's nice is that you do get a variation of the hands from left to right. The only problem again, talking about the paints where you have the orange nails to the black of the gloves, it does get a little bit muddled. If you get the chance to kind of go through a bunch on the shelves when these come due, make sure you get yourself a good looking one. And with Streaks himself, the tiger shark of the group, and also my favorite of the four Streak sharks, he's got the roller blades. And those just look so cool. With the wheels that spin, I'm so glad they went that extra mile. Thank you for putting real wheels on the roller blades. In terms of looking at the figure, again, from the side profile, because straight on, it's gonna be one of those kind of dealios, big old nose in front of his eyes and his face, so you get the idea. But the paint on the teeth, that would be the main problem, main gripe that I have with streaks. The paint application for all his tiger stripes along the back and the arms, those look great. Really interesting musculature on the back. Again, I just saw Alien Romulus, kind of reminds me of all of that, of the weird xenomorph kind of creature bone skeleton inside. This is going to have some, the usual articulation to him, single jointed elbows, the arms, the wrists, all of it move in that sense. He's got the real feel shark skin. And of course you can push down on his fin on the back and you get him chomping. But like I said, much like Big Slamu, while this does work a lot better in terms of the seams and kind of uniting all the various looks for the rubber, the teeth with the paint could have been just a little bit better inside the mouth, especially waist, legs, single jointed, roller blade legs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So again, the fact that he has his rollerblades, he'll twist at the knee, he's got a little bit of paint for the straps all on the rollerblades. I mean, it's a shark wearing rollerblades 24 seven. Swap the hands, it's relatively easy peasy. Just pull and pop and there you go. You can have the short claws or you can go full on DMV if you'd like. So in that sense, yeah, that's a great addition for slashing, good old slash and taking a bite out of him. I love it. Again, to say Streaks is my favorite because he's the most 90s out of the Street Sharks. He's the epitome of what the Street Sharks were. Just epic, extreme, all of those adjectives. It's great. This is a fantastic addition to the Street Sharks. 
And then finally, that brings us to Dr. Piranoid, a giant figure, much like Big Slamu. A lot going on here, lots to talk about. He has his big old Mysterio dome, which is a nice clear plastic. Little elements of paint here and there on his big old scuba suit. He does have this removable hook hand right here, which is simply just a really cool looking clip-on hook weapon. As I said, it's removable. There's really nothing to it. Nothing moves, nothing shoots out. It's just a plastic gray piece. The suit itself is a little bit textured, although, like I said, some elements as a collector's line could have been painted to kind of elevate it. On this side is a very different mechanical cyborg arm to his more, I guess you could say, human arm. Now, he does have a pretty decent ab crunch, ab swivel, that sort of dealio. You can see all the silver parts, the chains in his wetsuit, the big old zipper, which is kind of funny, down to his knees and his big old clod hopper boots. On the back side, again, continuing on with that old school scuba suit with a little bit of a futuristic flair. He's got single jointed knees, the legs will move, the feet, they'll rock up and down. So again, much like the usual street sharks articulation, except on this arm right here, which is very interesting. You got the ball joint for the shoulder, basically a single joint in the cybernetics of the elbow, and then, lo and behold, we actually have a rocket firing spring-loaded mechanism which shoots out, and I absolutely love that because that is ridiculously 90s, old school. You want to shoot the street shark, you want to take the hook or knock them down, whatever you want to do to take these miserable sharks down. But again, that's cool. The big old hose, this little part does not come off, but it will twist around. It's kind of like a little satellite dish on there. Overall, just very cool. I love to see some spring-loaded old-school toy action, this one being more of a saw blade kind of dealio. Get him all loaded up with these weapons, get his hook hand going, and yeah, he is just a very cool villain in the Street Sharks lore. Now look at the face portrait up close. He's yelling, he's screaming, it's painted well. He has a seashell for an eye patch. But the best part is he has a little feature on the back, which really does meld well with the armor. You wouldn't know it unless you were kind of fiddling around with it. But the button right there, directly in the middle, when you push it, he turns into the fish monster head, which is so... Awesome, it just simply just flips, and that's the best part about it. So you push it once, you push it twice, it flips them back from human to fish man. I absolutely love that. So while the street sharks have their chomping action, the villains have their flipping and drilling, and all kinds of various mechanisms, which totally throws you back, and kind of ends up warranting that $25 price point. From all the various paints, spring-loaded weaponry, the real Phil shark skin, you get the idea. But much like the Street Sharks, Dr. Paranoid is a must-have. And speaking of the Street Sharks, finally, within Wave 1 and Wave 2, we have all four brothers brought together, and that just makes for a really nice TMNT, I mean Street Sharks, reunion. All those anthropomorphic turtles and sharks and biker mice from the 90s, but hey, it works. It's totally radical, man, and... <laughs> Street Sharks is so ridiculous, but again, it's so much fun. And yes, I have been hearing you. Some people have been writing in and saying, yeah, some of my Street Sharks right at the mouth. It's starting to tear a little bit. And unfortunately, yes, it's happening with my jab right there in the crease of his mouth. So, Mattel, you got to work on that. That is something that's affecting people's Street Sharks already. But like I said, to have all four bros all together, they're ready to chomp through some concrete or whatever they do. And just as an added bonus, if you went to Comic-Con or grabbed the Comic-Con Pool Hall Ripster, yeah, he looks great with the other sharks as well. It's the same exact figure. He's just wearing a jacket with some sunglasses. And likewise, with the villains, we have Slash. We got Dr. Paranoid for Wave 1 and Wave 2. The villains look great together, but sorely lacking on villains, I would say, right? We got Four street sharks, five technically with the second ripster. The villains are definitely outnumbered. But hey, don't you fret just yet. San Diego Comic-Con at the Mattel booth. They showed off the third and fourth waves of the 30th anniversary of street sharks. So we have Slobster coming. We, of course, have Moby Lick, which is essentially Venom as a shark. <laughs> if you really 
think about it. We're also going to have Kilimari, which he looks great. So plenty of villains are coming. We'll also be getting Manta Man, who's essentially Ray Filet for the Ninja Turtles, but Manta Man for Street Sharks. And likewise, we'll be getting some variations on the Street Sharks, like Big Slamu with the big old boxing gloves and his mouth guard, which is always cool, and variations on Ripster as well. So Waves 3, Waves 4 coming soon. Stay tuned, and I'm sure we'll be taking a look at those when those finally come out. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Wave 2 of the Mattel 30th Anniversary Street Sharks line. Three great fun figures. I like the variances. You got some swap out hands for streaks. He's got his roller blades. You also have Big Slam Moo with his big old seismic slam. That's always fun. The chomping action, the real feel skin. That's great. And then finally, the villain, Dr. Piranoid, the villain of villains for the Street Sharks. But like I said, to go from wave one to now wave two, you got all four brothers all ready to go. If you wanted to stop here, you could definitely do that. But they got some cool new shark people figures are coming, so it's going to be kind of hard to say no. And truth be told, I don't want them to go too crazy with the street sharks, but for what they got coming out now, it's a lot of fun. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything street sharks, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, be sure to check out Entertainment Earth for all your street sharks needs, at least when they're in stock. And when you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.